There are so many reasons why our JCS 211 Miami team is so very special. Among them are the compassion and care with which they serve our clients that call in day in and day out with crisis calls. Individuals that are hurting, individuals that are grieving, individuals that are going through emotional disruption in their lives. And our 211 call center staff is always there for them with great skill, great care, offering support, sustenance, and resources. Tonight, more than 100,000 people are in U.S. hospitals being treated for COVID. Here in Florida, it is 17,000 patients that are being treated in the state. A Delta-driven surge putting the Jackson Health System on high alert, suspending visitation for most inpatient units as of Wednesday. COVID leading to another long line of cars outside the Hard Rock Stadium testing site today. The increased demand coming as doctors issued this dire warning. Miami is now the epicenter of the pandemic. As we know, a fear of the unknown is a real fear. So as a leader, what I do is to calm the team so that we are not unfearful. If we have the fear, we won't be able to provide the care that our patients, our community needs. So as a leader on the unit with my team, we were able to calm the team, calm the patient since they won't have a family and coming to visit. And since we don't even know what a COVID entails, we learn on the job. And as we learn on the job, we grow on the job and we are able to provide and the best world-class care to the patient. I joined JCS as a member of the staff in January of 2020. After two months, we were faced with a first disaster that was unprecedented, the pandemic. COVID-19, many unanswered questions, a great deal of information that the public was seeking in order to ensure the health and well-being of their families, their coworkers, and their friends. JCS was there to respond. Every step of the way with information, resources, vaccination appointments, access to everyone in the community that sought help. You know, everything in our world changed as a result of the pandemic and the helpline counselors were our frontline staff working to provide individuals in our community with the resources that they needed when they didn't know where else to turn for help. Many places closed down, there was limited access um, to resources and our counselors were, you know, the first point of contact for so many in our community about where to go. During COVID, we saw a big increase very early on of families who were scared and they didn't know if they were going to be working and they didn't know if, you know, where their next kosher meal was coming from. So we had a lot of families sign up for the food bank and we provided food for the whole community. Our trucks would stop at eight different synagogues and they would um, allow people to get in their cars in line and get food put in their trunks. We've been very fortunate in terms of having such a dedicated team that has been there despite the pandemic, despite everything coming down around us. We've been able to maintain our service 24 seven throughout the pandemic. 911, what's your emergency? A very large building collapse. Like the building next to us is gone. The images of the Surfside building collapse are heartbreaking and horrifying to anyone who sees them. And for the families involved, it's another level of anguish. That's where Jewish Community Services of South Florida comes in. When we heard of the Champlain Towers collapsing, uh, we knew that we needed to be here available for our communities. Our staff has been there 24-7 to field any of those calls that might come in. You know, I started working at the shul about a month before the Champlain Towers collapsed. I wanted to be in an environment where my talents and my experience would serve. I had no idea what I was asking for when I was praying to God to please give me a job with meaning and purpose because a month later I was no longer doing special events and projects 
we, we were the forefront, we were the hub of all support. So historically, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, which is one of 28 uh, federal uh, urban search and rescue teams, you know, we're capable of achieving many all-hazard you know, uh, components. Um, you know, we did encounter numerous teams from the state and nationally, and of course internationally that did join you know, this, uh, this uh, incident. But the greatest part about it was we had close to a thousand first responders there, all of them on the same sheet of paper with the same exact uh, incidents and, and tactics and objectives that needed to be met. And you know, considering that a 12-story building you know, did collapse, um, that again, within a month, we were able to, again, some form or fashion, bring some form of closure to many of the family members that uh, had asked us to. We just felt the need to help those in need, and I think that's also part of Judaism. You know, it's part of what our family taught us, you know, giving back, doing chesed um, for the people, not just for the Jewish people, also for, just for everyone. But then about seven, eight o'clock in the morning, um, we were on a call with the Shul of Pearl Harbor and Hatzal of South Florida to like officiate uh, our fundraising campaign. The American Red Cross is blessed with amazing community partnerships, including, of course, Jewish Community Services. And a community tragedy like this, a tragedy like this brings the community together in ways that you never want to find out, but make your heart feel warm that people care so much. And immediately the Red Cross, I was speaking with people from JCS, from United Way, from Miami Foundation, from Jewish, um, Greater Miami Jewish Federation, and other agencies all over the county who stepped up to make sure that the survivors and the families were all very well taken care of. As with any crisis, any event, there's not one person that could do everything. That's what impresses me the most, is how well and how cohesive this community is and how quickly they rally and come together. Until now, I didn't realize how far reaching JCS is within our community and the things that they offer and the things that they bring to this community. And I'm so impressed and I'm just absolutely honored to be able to work with such a great organization. I think the takeaway that folks can learn about 211 is that it can happen to any one of us where we'll need these services. Sometimes we think, oh, this is for other people and um, your neighbors or even some relatives you may not be aware of are hurting. And so listen to them. And when you think there's nothing you can do, just call us 211 and we'll help you navigate that.